the space shuttle in its glory days, and you take one, remove the electrons from one cubic centimeter in the nose of the main tank, and take all those electrons and put it at the base of the launch pad, it could, would not be able to launch. The attraction between the electrons at the base of the launch pad See. and the net positive charge yeah, at the top right, yeah, is yeah. enough to prevent it from launching. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah I cool. could, I could cool. see that that would be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it would yeah. burrow a hole. So <laughs> it probably, yeah. It's not a realistic experiment, but it, to yeah. get some sense of the forces involved. Yeah, that's yeah. a really nice Okay, so gravity's weak. That somehow bails you out of this problem? Well, it just means that you can't, we don't have experimental access to them. Okay. Because it's so weak. I, um, so, whereas we do have experimental access to photons. Yeah. Unless you, you could potentially have access if there were extra dimensions in the universe that are configured in the right way. Physicists are always throwing in extra dimensions. Well, Whenever you need it, you but know. It, it is interesting, though, that, that string theory works in 10 dimensions and only 10 dimensions mathematically. So that's um, an interesting observation, right? So I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have the background to be an authentic.